everything is dynamic. We can change time of day. We can move around all the reflections. The materials actions. are physically based. Go ahead. Keep going. Look, we'll just keep going. Go. Manuel. Yeah, at this point, I'm just letting them run because it's just so beautiful. So Alexi over here is the lead programmer, has added a lot of features. So the first thing we did was adding, adding high dynamic range because without physical units, nothing works, obviously. The, the direct lighting, the indirect lighting, the reflections, the refractions, all based on ray tracing, all based on path tracing. Once again, the CPU rasterizer over here with baked global illumination and RTX. All right, we're going to take you to one of the actual game levels for gameplay. All right, so this is before. This is before. This is after. As you can see, we now have physically based material. We can get glass, which reflects everything around it. We also added little fun things like volumetric lighting that you can see here with beautiful light shafts. And we have more interesting materials coming up, like metal grades over here, which start reflecting all the environment around them. No tricks. This is actually real. We're, we're not faking it. And here's another little Kodak moment. There we go. With beautiful volumetric lining, very moody. Again, before and after. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, the be this is a definition of beauty for a computer scientist. And we have one more little surprise for you. Something else that we've added a last minute. We weren't sure if it was going to work today. So I'm going to let them show it. And of course, this is not quick without a BFG. 